Hi yeah, guys, so today I'm going to do the Labyrinth book tag, which was originally created by Pages and Pens. And have to say a big thank you for the tag. It was lots of fun, like I had to go through my mind to like what books I read and go on Goodreads and reviews and see like does this one apply, I don't remember the name or something, it was lots of fun and everything. And also I have to do a disclaimer because you guys might not agree with some of the answers that I gave and you have to understand it is only my opinion and what I think about that certain character or book. So without further ado, let's go into it. Also, if I look here, it's because, like even if I go like this, it's because I have my laptop and I read the questions. So without further ado, let's get into it. First one, it is Sarah, a character that found strength without a love interest. And that one I found that I didn't really read a book that it is like that. So it, like either you pick like Katie from Safe, uh, Safe Haven, which actually is not her true name, but yeah. Uh, she was in a love like relationship because her husband, but she runs away from him because he almost killed her a few times. So she's running away as far as possible, always changing places because she doesn't want to be uh, caught by him because he will literally kill her. It was an abusive relationship and everything, so she gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So maybe that one, or if you want to really have no love, like intentions of becoming stronger and everything, just pick the Goku from Dragon Ball, and it will be perfect because from the first time, like he just, little like he just wanted to see how strong he is, so he always pushed himself, not for certain reason, not for anyone. He just became stronger and stronger for himself. Until to a certain point, he had to fight people, like actual strong people, and he became more strong. Sinker. Hoggle. A character you weren't sure whether to love or hate at first. And that one was uh, Cam from the Fallen series. Because he's really like a villain, but I wasn't sure if I should love or hate him. Because in the other ones, he becomes different, so even towards the end, like, he gives you the deal why you should, like, actually like him. And I was like, I, t I still don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Because I was thinking to pick the same thing, like, the pages and pens, Warner from uh, Shadow Me. But I didn't get to the point to actually like the guy. Like, I still hate that yeah i'm not gonna go into that i'm gonna talk too much the third one it is ludo a character almost too innocent to be re uh, real okay so for this one it was really really hard to pick because i didn't want to pick luna from harry potter because again pages and pen picked it so i thought about it like okay who should i pick and then i thought pippin and mary like those ones are the funniest and the the sweetest and you like cannot believe they're real because like at certain points while they like go and to the, like fellowship of the ring and everything they're like uh so what about like you know like breakfast and then like i forget the, the three type of breakfast is like something that's before breakfast and before before breakfast is like three breakfasts in one until lunch so it's the funniest thing like and they don't really like i don't know it's just i love them the fourth one uh didymus a clueless character you either love or hate okay so for this one you guys gonna hate me. Um, it is pretty much what I think, especially in the first one, in Twilight. Bella, she just really like got on my nerves how naive she was. Like, okay, he's a freaking vampire. Like, he tells you he's a vampire. He can do bad stuff to you. Like, the freaking like lion fell in love with the lamb, right? Well, the, she's so naive. She's like, oh. James is gonna go after my dad now and kill him? Really? Or in the I forgot which one in the in the breaking down I think she goes to like uh, Edward and is like um, Jacob's not gonna hurt me, right? Edward, read his mind. Like she, that's not the only thing. There's so many parts. Even Edward says to her that it was so easy for him to actually lie to her because she was so naive. She will believe so easy. She will believe literally everything. So, like, uh, I love the series, but, like, she got on my nerves lots of times. Okay, so the fifth one, Jared. 
a villain you can't help but love. Okay, people do not hate me for this, but because of the way that I felt about Bella, I just love James, <laughs> okay? The moment that he started running after her, I was like, come on, catch it. Like, terrorize her up a little bit. Maybe she will change. <laughs> I just loved him. And especially when they picked him in the movie, I was so in heaven. I was like, yeah, I, Cam was perfect for that character, okay? It was better even than Edward. Do not kill me. I just loved him. He was perfect. Uh, six. Fire dancers. What secondary character really got on your nerves? Okay. This one again, you will hate me. I know for sure you will hate me because I never, never loved this character. Okay, so it is Vampire Academy, the whole series, okay, but especially in Frostbite, Adrian just got on my nerves. I never liked him for Rose, first of all. I never liked him in, even in like Boundless, I think it's called, I forgot that. Like, I, I don't like his character, he's so like, he, he always got on my nerves, like I didn't like him. I just know, like, I like that he helps uh, Rose, but for the reason that he helps and for the re like yeah not in vampire then he changes a bit in the other one but it's yeah no no <sighs> which one did we got to okay seven the labyrinth a book with plot twists you never saw coming okay for this one it is probably something that you guys don't know because it is not that well spoken of it's october 32nd and i completely forgot about who but i'll write it right here for you guys it's a canadian author and he that book he sent it to me for the contest also and then uh, uh, he sent that one for me to do the review it was amazing like just i loved it, 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 it like i didn't expect it you it is pretty much for the halloween that's why it even says 30 i said 32nd i hope because i always say 31st it is pretty much happens everything happens in like during halloween so everyone thinks it's witches involved and everything and then like towards the end like the last four chapters you're like what it is going on like honestly it's not even close to what you think will happen or what actually the book it's about but it's amazing because the, it's kind of like this uh, what it happens in the book it's like the whole day restarts that's why it's called october 32nd because it never ends the halloween is still there because the kids they're like disappearing and everything so they have to find out and just yeah beautiful um then eight i didn't know what to answer for the eight because it's the blog uh the, sorry the blog of eternal stretch what trope or writing style do you will immediately make you to put the book down it's not like it will make me immediately but it's like towards like depending if i get used to it or not i really hate when they change points of view like so many times for example uh i think it's in infinite by the uh, second book in the fifth uh, wave it changes so many times that i really had to push myself because i really love the fifth wave to actually go through it like it yeah it was i didn't like it at all at all uh then nine uh, 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 uh. The Oubliette, what book or series you'll never finish? Okay, this one was connected with the one previous. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll never finish the fifth wave. Second, because I have a really, 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 really bad cousin because she reads a lot also and sometimes she reads ahead of me i try not to let her read ahead of me or to like i'll try to tune her out or something because she will spoil she like literally i want to continue with the throne of glass but she spoiled the fifth book for me people she and then she starts spoiling the fourth and then i wanted to read the uh, maximum ride but while you're watching the movie i never read she loved those books i never she's like oh my god come Oh my god this, oh my god that, and I'm like, oh, kill you, let me watch this movie without you talking about the actual book, because I want to read it. And that what happens in this one, it is a fifth wave, I especially love the fifth wave, the first book, it is amazing. The second one, it was eh, and the third one, she spoiled for me what happens, and the person that dies in it, and I actually, the whole reason that I actually read even the second one was because I wanted those two characters to actually live, and yeah, I didn't like yeah what happens in the second one it's really really bad i it's not how i enjoy it because i didn't like the character so much so no not for me definitely 10 
the 13th hour what book uh, kept you up all night or did you read in one night sitting okay this is actually a huge book it's an omnibus that it has three books in one and literally in uh, about I think 30 hours 34 hours something like that I remember because I went back home my best friend gave me this book and um, I remember sitting like this in the bed with the book on because uh, it passed like already f like it was 3 or 4 a.m. going in like every time I'll fall asleep I'll do this like little kids and wake up and like continue reading so I did that about for 30 I was like I'll go to like even the bathroom I'll fall asleep e eating like fall asleep but I'll go with the book anyway and that is if you guys remember I even had a giveaway for this it is a Morganville vampire so this is for the first three books I think it is a glass house uh, I don't remember the other ones. I'll just leave it for you guys on the screen below. I don't remember what are the other two. But that one really, like, I love the whole series. Just, I don't think ever another book that actually kept me up all night. Like, I stayed up. I probably even finished one in one, like, whole night. Because I think I started reading around, like, six... 5 or 6 p.m. and I went and I think until like 5 or 6 a.m. I finished the first one which each has around 400 pages and then I continue so the whole thing it took me about 30 hours or something and I honestly did not sleep I don't know if I had combined in those like two hours of sleep and I mean because I will like go like this and be like you know like little kids you'll sleep and then like when your head goes down and you actually fall, you're like waking up. So that's pretty much how I had all my sleep for those 30 hours. But I didn't complain. I love that series. It's just amazing. Uh, 11. Crystal Ball. What book do you wish the main character had a crystal ball so they could avoid miscommunication? Okay. Um, this one it's a little bit... Uh, different okay it was hard for me to pick but uh i'll pick it was pretty much first a tv show but then uh they tried to make it like books and the first three books they were really bad and then the one that came out now it is actually really good because it's a continuation it's actually will be the sixth one for the sixth season something like that because it has five season outs right so it'll be the continuation for that but the it is a different author, writer, however you want to say, and it is just amazing how it's written. So it is uh, The Tribe, A New World, and I will make it like as a group between Amber and Bray. People like this, like, it was a headache, like, every time someone will go in between... Or something will happen because this whole story it is the tribe it's a, it was a virus so all the like literally the adults will it died right so everything was chaos no actual rules everything they will you will have to actually find like a, either a tribe or a group that you will create to make like small rules so you can survive right because it was no more money no more nothing and this too they in a mall, you, uh, the beginning it is the mall rats, that's how actually they called. In the mall, they gather all of them, they create this mall rats tribe. And um, Amber and uh, Bray, from the beginning, they actually love each other, they like each other. But they always like say stuff and they're like, oh, oh, okay, I thought this. And they get it wrong, they get it so wrong because they actually mean different things. And I'm like, okay, from the first season, you would have been able to be together from the third freaking episode. And no. So even in this book, because he tried to keep like as close as to the show, it didn't work. It didn't work. No. Like, I'm like, why would you do this to me? Why is so much miscommunication? Why, my, my, my. Oh my god, I got a few 14 minutes already. Oh, I rambled so much about this, eh? Okay, and 12. You have no power over me. What book or series didn't you understand the hype for? Yeah, again, don't hate me or anything. You guys, if you have followed me from the beginning, you should know this. I also did the... 
underrated and the popular books and all those tags so you should know that it is the truth which people okay it's not that i didn't enjoy it but i literally had to push myself i've tried reading it it didn't work and then i started listening to it i had to literally it took me a proud two months to actually finish the whole thing because everyone said oh it's gonna start building up after like a hundred and something pages okay i waited and then i start skipping and then because it didn't work like you know while you listen it didn't work i had to go back and it was a headache i didn't like it i didn't enjoy the way that it was i didn't it's just no and i like witches i like fantasy it is my big thing like most of my things they're fantasy nothing like else most of them they're fantasy and it's like yeah i didn't you i don't get it what's the whole hype of about that book explain it to me because i don't get it and then this one was so hard to pick okay uh dance music uh sorry dance magic dance a book that will always make you happy this one is, was really 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 hard to pick because i was thinking to pick the same thing because i really love lord of the rings same thing like pages and pens but then i'm like i don't know he always makes me happy but then I'm like, a book that actually always makes me happy and I start rereading and everything, it is actually Resiste. It is in Spanish and it's pretty much, it has like good like quotes or like um, inspiration words for you. It's not a big thing, it's like really thin and it's just, it's just like amazing. It, it will tell you like, it's like keys to like, you know, to go through life and why you should like uh, resist and to oppose yourself to the things and why you should push and why you should show who you actually are. So th that's why I actually love that book and every time I think about it, it makes me feel good. And so, yeah, that's the one that I thought it will just work perfectly because I will reread it so many times and so fast and it's so easy, it just, it's amazing. And it helps me lots of times to get out of a reading slam. So yeah. I will tag you guys um, if you want to do it, but you should definitely do it. It's a lot of fun and it's different. So I really like it. I enjoy doing it. Again, thank you for the tag and hope you guys enjoy it and you do not kill me. If you hate me, I'm sorry about that. You can tell me why you hate me and maybe you can get me into liking some of the things that I hate and uh, you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, please subscribe even if you don't like me. So you can give some heat, okay? Because even the heat is good, you know, construct is like constructive. It will teach you how to get better and prove the haters that they can put you down. So bye bye guys!